Last year on Thanksgiving, Barack stepped into the office for a bit to call some of the men and women serving in Iraq and Afghanistan and to thank them for their service. And when he told me about those conversations, it reminded me once again of how blessed we are to live in a country like this, where our freedoms are guided by the service of so many heroes. Uh, when I've had the chance to meet with these men and women and their families, I have always walked away feeling awed by their courage and their sacrifice. So this year, I wanted to take a minute to have some of those Thanksgiving conversations myself. In fact, that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna call Jessica Allen, the wife of an Army veteran who was deployed in Afghanistan earlier this year, and we're gonna talk to her and her family. It's a lot, my favorite is the thanks. I absolutely love it when people stop us and usually they tap me on the shoulder and say, Did, was your husband injured in combat? And I'll say yes, and I'll say Afghanistan. And then, then they'll approach him and, and thank him for his service. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Jessica, please? You're talking to her? Hi, Jessica, this is Michelle Obama. How are you? Are you serious? I am so serious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, hi, I am absolutely fabulous. How are you? I am terrific. Just glad to talk to you. How's everything going? It's going as good as it can. Yeah, I, I am calling you because you are amazing. Um, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, for for no, all that you, you you do thank for this you. country, all that you're doing for your family, and you are the kind of example and the story we want to make sure that all of America hears and knows about. Because in addition to managing your family, you know we understand that you are also just a super support system to to other military families, walking people through the emotional process, and you know and, and it's important for the rest of the country to understand the challenges, the emotional, you know, not just the financial or physical challenges when a, a loved one is away or is wounded, it's, it's uh, everything that goes along with it. And I think that so many Americans don't know. Um, so no, many, they don't. And, and no. you're bringing voice to that. Uh, and, uh, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to call you. It's, and we, oh, you have no idea how much we army wives are so thankful for you and, and Dr. Biden for what you're doing. Well, the, it's, it's so important. And America is stepping you. up. We just need to tell your stories more because your stories tell it all. And it's just that people need to know you're out there. They need to know what you're going through. So just keep speaking up. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. You have the personality and the energy to send a message to the world. Um, make sure you take care of yourself in, in all of oh, this, Oh, I will. Too. Trust me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. It's great to all talk right, to you. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. Same to you. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Families like the Allens are a true inspiration. And this Thanksgiving, you can do your part to say thanks. We've partnered with the USO on a program called Thanks From Everywhere. And to be part of that program, just go to joiningforces.gov slash thanks, and you can write a quick note that troops and families will be able to see online and at USO centers across the country. At a time when we're sitting down around the table to think about the blessings we've received this past year, I hope you'll take a minute to thank America's heroes and their families for everything they do for our country. And on behalf of myself and my family, I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you and God bless.